Hello first graders. So today we're going to be learning about four ways to use money. Um, I'm sure that you know what money is. I'm sure that a lot of you like money. Today we're going to be talking about what can you do with that money that you like. So our goal, our I can statement at the bottom is name the four ways to use money and imagine real ideas for each. So at the end of this lesson, after you've learned the four ways, you are going to imagine that you have some money and how would you use it the four different ways. All right, here we go. So first, what is economics? That's what we've been learning about in core knowledge lately. Um, economics is how you choose to use your money. And I capitalize the word choose because how you use your money is a choice for each person. And economics is all about how you use your money and you may choose to use your money in a different way than other people. You may also choose to use your money in different ways at different times in your life depending on what your wants and needs are. So economics is how you choose to use your money. There are four ways to choose to use your money. Some of them you may be familiar with, some of them you may not. I'll try to start with the ones that I think you would um, think of the most um, or first. First one is spend. I'm sure we all like to spend money. Here's another way you can use your money. Save. You may have heard of this one too. You may choose to save your money. Earn. So um, you can choose to earn money. And last, donate. You can choose to donate money. So these are the four ways that you can choose to use your money. Spend, save, earn, and donate. And it's all up to you. Let's look at each one. So first, spending money. Spend money means to exchange or trade money for goods or services. So if I want to buy something, I would spend my money. So for example, I might want to spend money on some candy. I want candy. Candy is delicious. So I may want to trade my money at a candy store to buy a candy bar. Toys. I also like toys. I bet you do too. So you may choose to spend your money on toys. That means you would go to a toy store and you would trade or exchange your money for whichever toy you would like to bring home. Some, um, Both candy and and toys are both goods. There's something physical that you can pick up and touch and put in your shopping cart or your shopping bag. Sometimes we choose to spend our money instead on services. So for example, the last picture that popped up is you may choose to exchange or spend your money to go to a movie. You might buy a ticket. That would be a service, buying the ticket to go to the movie. Um, Watching the movie, I can't put that in my shopping bag. I can't pick it up, but it's a service. It's something that someone else did for me. They presented the movie. And then I may decide to buy myself some treats. Those would be some actual goods, things that I could pick up. Now, all of these pictures are all wants, things I would like to have. Um, but we also spend our money sometimes on needs, like groceries. Saving money. Saving money means to put it aside for future use. And usually it's until we have enough. So for example, if I have a dollar and I want to buy something that costs $10, I may choose to put aside or save my money until I have $10. So what kinds of things might you want to save your money? And how do we save money? Right now, I bet a lot of you have a piggy bank. A lot of kids save their money in a piggy bank. You may drop coins or dollars inside. Adults often save their money in a bank. That's where they get the word piggy bank. A bank is a building where you can go, you can bring your money and they will save it in their safe or their vault. And they also save it a note of it in their computer system so that they know how much money you brought to them. It's still your money, but they're just keeping it safe for you. Now, what might you want to save your money for? Usually we save money for things that are more expensive. 
something that we don't have enough money for all at one time. So adults might save their money up for a car. Cars are very expensive, thousands of dollars. Or you may want to save money to go to college. College is very expensive as well. So saving means to put aside money for future use. Usually it means that you don't have enough yet. Earning money. Earning money is a little different. When we save or spend, we already have the money and we're going to use it for something, um, use it, exchange it for something else. But earning money means you don't have the money yet. Instead, you are going to exchange goods and services for money. So this is the opposite of um, spending money. If we go back to this side, this slide, remember spending money means to exchange money for goods or services. But earning money means to exchange goods or services for money. So what might you exchange or trade for that money? You might offer to clean up around the house, do some extra chores like sweeping or vacuuming or cleaning your room. Some of these things might earn you some money. You might at your house even have some chores that you have to do that earn you some um, on a weekly allowance. Some families choose to do that. You also could mow somebody's lawn or shovel their driveway or rake their leaves. So it might not always be somebody who in your house. Or you might, um, these are both services, things you do for other people, but you also can exchange goods for money. You might bake some cookies and decide to sell them in your neighborhood or have a lemonade stand, make some lemonade and sell that. So you, um, earning money means you exchange goods or services of your own for money that people pay you for them. The last way to choose to use your money is to donate it. This means that you give your money to somebody else. This is different than spending because when you're spending it, you're trading or exchanging it and you get something back. When I go to the store and spend my, um, the candy store and spend my dollar, I give them my dollar, they give me a candy bar. But donating money means that I give my money to somebody and I don't get anything physical back. I don't get any goods or services. I will say though, what you a lot of times people will get back is they will get a good feeling about themselves. So in that way, you might get something, but you won't get a good or a service back when you donate money. Different ways you might donate your money is um, you may decide to give money to the um, local humane society. A humane society is a um, shelter that takes care of animals that are lost or that somebody doesn't want anymore. They feed them and give them blankets and take them out to exercise and make sure that they're healthy until somebody else wants um, to, to um, bring them into their house. All of those things cost money for the Humane Society. So um, people often, animal lovers, love to donate to the Humane Society. Another thing is around Christmas time, you may see a Santa Claus or somebody else just dressed up in um, holiday clothes that is ringing a bell and has a often a red bucket next to them. And you may have seen that people walk by and put their change or their coins inside the bucket. You may have even done this before with coins that your mom or dad gave you. Um, the, these bell ringers, they are usually collecting money, donated money, to give to people that are poor, that may not have enough food, um, may not have enough money to buy food or um, house or car or other things for their families. So these are different ways, and there's lots of other different ways too, but these are two ways that you can donate your money, giving it to somebody else who is in need. And remember, you don't get anything back except for, of course, a very good feeling about yourself. So again, these are the four ways that you can choose to use your money. Spend, save, earn, and donate. All right, for our activity today, I now want you to imagine $10. It might look something like this in your brain. There's $10. Now, I want you to think about how would you use that $10? How would you spend $10? How would you save it? How would you earn it? How would you donate it? So there is a digital activity on your Google Classroom that you're going to now go into and you're going to write an idea for each of the four ways that you can use money. So you're going to write down, you're going to think of and type in on the computer a way that you would spend money, a way that you would save money, 
a way that you would earn it and a way that you might donate it. Of course, there are lots of different answers, but what's important is I want to know how you would choose to use your money. Have a great day. We can't wait to see your ideas. Bye, first grade.